Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video here to show you um, our progress on the install trailer that we're outfitting and putting together for the summer's installs. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's still a work in progress, um, but uh, we've got the ladder garage finished um, and that fits a full eight foot long size ladder in it. Um, down below here in the bottom shelf is where we're going to have our um, Milwaukee organizers. Um, so that's going to fit at least eight of those. Um, this shelf, uh, I've decided instead of making shelves in, um, you know, kind of a descending, uh, decreasing order, um, just decided to keep that 16 inch depth on all the shelves going up. So there's a couple more shelves that are going to go there in the top. Um, and then the top is actually going to get, get cased, um, and kind of trimmed out so that we're able to put other long handled tools and stuff up there and, uh, you know, shovels, um, sledgehammer, you know, just other miscellaneous items, maybe a, maybe a long handled push broom or something like that. Um, that duck work is probably not going to stay there. That's just there temporarily. Um, you know, it's leftover excess inventory that's left over from our, uh, our jobs and stuff um, <clears throat> what we did was uh, first we reinforced the back so um, we actually pulled off um, these two sheets of plywood um, that go uh, floor to ceiling here and uh, put three-quarter inch plywood on the backing the rest of uh, what's in this trailer is actually uh, just quarter inch plywood and um, we decided that wasn't, you know, a solid enough backing um, to attach our hardware and uh, and mount, um, you know, anything to. So we actually uh, replaced these two sheets, um, top and bottom, here, uh, as you can see, with three quarter inch plywood, and then uh, obviously replaced all the trim, and then put this metal flashing back here in the corner. So that was the first step. Um, from that point, it was pretty easy to, to mount our, um, our running boards. And then um, we chose three quarter inch plywood because it's pretty easy to, to screw together. It's, it's pretty solid uh, material. And uh, that is not going anywhere. Um, the back of that ladder garage actually provides support for the shelf above it um, so that we don't need to clutter the space below with um, another uh, bracket that would hold the weight once we put tools and everything on it um, but uh, we are probably gonna have to put some kind of um, support in the center there on that second shelf and then on the third shelf as we go up so um, that'll keep those shelves from sagging over time you know with the weight of the tools and everything that's going on them but uh, our hope is to get this outfitted in time um, to uh, handle the installs that we um, we get over the summer and uh, our goal is to be uh, the most prepared so um, probably what's going to go on this um, in some of the dead space above this um, lower uh, compartment where those Milwaukee organizers are going to go is uh, is going to be like a small um, cubby shelf where we're just going to have miscellaneous small parts where it's going to be easy to take uh, quick inventory visually and just kind of see what we have so you know, PVC, gas fittings, um, other uh, other parts and components that are quick and easy to grab. Um, we've got some of the uh, um, some of the electrical work we're gonna have to do um, in terms of this. We've got um, we've got some uh, some leftover um, hard duck. This is going actually in a commercial job here soon. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of that so um, yeah it's coming together um, this is just kind of a, uh, a progress video an update on um, a project that we've been working on and putting together so uh, I'll update uh, with another video here soon and um, show you guys uh, the uh, the rest basically these these two end caps um, are just made of three-quarter inch plywood um, we just drew out the template and put those together and uh, the, the total shelf dimensions are about um, 80 inches long and it's about 70 inches tall. 
and uh, we'll probably have um, probably going to mount maybe on this side. Uh, we're trying to keep this this main area here free for all our equipment and stuff, but um, hopefully on this side maybe we'll still have some room for those uh, those rubber rubber made. Uh, track mount systems um, that they make with different attachments, um, you know, for other uh, long handle tools, uh, maybe, uh, you know, some some hoses, um, other, you know, other things that you can hang, basically, um, line sets, etc. just all the miscellaneous stuff and, uh, and get that up out of the way. Um, I did think about using the jet the jet rack system for uh, mounting a um, six foot ladder here to the top. Not sure about that yet. Not really sure if I want to reduce the headroom in this trailer like that, but um, there's tons of ideas. Um, you know, this is always a, a constant evolution. We're just trying to trying to figure things out as we go here. Um, hopefully this shelf um, serves uh, our purpose um, for most of the inventory. Uh, the goal and the idea is really just to have basically everything that we could ever possibly need on an install You know down to you know some of the most random parts um, We've even got you know a vacuum in here um, That's a cordless vacuum Milwaukee makes um, We've got a 9 volt battery 9 volt excuse me 9 amp hour battery in there um, I've even got uh, some miscellaneous tools other power tools like a uh, um, 18 gauge nailer that's also cordless made by Milwaukee and um, you know in case we ever have to remove the uh, the trim around uh, the attic staircase and uh, pull the whole attic ladder down sometimes that happens when we have you know limited clearance on those and that gives us an extra two three inches to um, move equipment in and out of the attic so um, that'll facilitate uh, the crew being able to hang that trim back up and kind of minimize our imprint, you know, an impact on, uh, on the customer's house and we leave everything just, uh, just the way we found it. So, um, there's a lot of clutter in the, in the nose, but eventually there probably will be, um, a higher shelf up here and that will leave the bottom open, um, you know, for a larger shop vac and, uh, maybe some other tools, probably some mail crates, um, for, you know, things like star collars, um, things that just take up a lot of room. Um, you know, we're going to have some boxes of armor flax and different things that are going to go in here. Um, and, uh, basically all our supplies, um, everything we could possibly need. So this is going to be kind of like our, our mobile parts house. Um, and, uh, should, should give us everything that we need to, um, complete the install and do it in a, a timely and efficient manner. So, um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You guys uh, hit the like button if this uh, if this video <clears throat> helped you guys out in terms of um, you know seeing how you can put together a uh, a six by twelve trailer for your install needs or um, whatever other uh, tradesmen are are watching this. Um, but uh, we got some ideas from. Um, an electrician friend of ours that's how we came up uh, the ladder garage and I think that was a pretty cool addition you know to this whole trailer so um, that's it for now uh, until next time we'll see you guys uh, on the next video when we uh, post an update to this one um, once this uh, gets fleshed out a little bit more and uh, look forward to that so thanks so much